Kerajaan memandang serius situasi semasa ancaman virus berbahaya ini, terutamanya perkembangan gelombang yang kedua. Nationwide lockdown. These measures may be perceived to be very drastic. This is a very crucial step that the nation has to take uh, in order to curb the spread of the virus. COVID-19. 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 That is the CFO, conditional uh, MCO. But I want all of you to know that this government cares for you. With CMCO, situation is much relaxed. People returning to the streets of Kuala Lumpur. But back during the days of MCO, I visited KL and documented how KL looks like during the movement control order period. As a disclaimer, I would like to say I practice social distancing and good hygiene towards the whole journey. So let me begin my journey to KL during the movement control order period. Let's go. I went to the hottest spot in KL, which is Bukit Bintang, Petaling Street, and Pasar Seni. All these places have one thing in common. Empty. KL is day quiet. It's day 42 of MCO. I'm currently in Bukit Bintang. You can see the street is actually quite empty for a normal day. There are barely any cars or people around. Things are slowing down. I'm currently walking the streets of Bukit Bintang, walking up. Oh, it's a little bit strange and weird because this place is usually full of tourists and locals. People walk around here, they're going to work and they're going to the pavilion for shopping. Now it's empty. We usually see crowds crossing in the streets during the peak hours, but today, I'm crossing alone. It's kind of weird to be honest. And pavilion is kind of empty as well. The air quality was surprisingly fresh. No honks, no sound of the aircon compressor. The mall was quiet and empty. Only mall cleaners and guards were doing their duties. Most importantly, there was no traffic jam. The only traffic jam I saw was at the police roadblock. The frontliners. There are the people who risk their lives and keep Malaysia going on. The next destination, Petaling Street and Pasaseni. These two places are usually crowded with tourists and locals. Petaling Street was quiet. You can look to the other end and you can see it is clear on the other side. The most touristy place, it is now empty. Pasar Seni was all locked up. The food store lane was surrounded by metal fences and no one was allowed to enter. The train services such as LRT, MRT and monorail only operate with certain timing. I was there in the afternoon and it was closed. Later in the evening, I went back to the train station in Pasar Seni. But while I was walking towards the station, the tunnel along the train station was empty. However, the platform is not that empty, but the crowd is less during the peak hour. Everyone is with their face mask on. I can tell everyone is aware of the virus. Even the seats are stuck with stickers that are written, practice social distancing. So I was on the train. One passenger walked up to the seat and sat beside another passenger. The another passenger got up and sat somewhere else. I was like, whoa, people are actually doing it.
It was around 7pm. I went to Bukit Bintang and took some night shots. There are fewer cars and activity. I can see off-duty guards and workers walking out from the shopping mall. Throughout the whole journey, I saw something that I almost didn't consider coming into the MCU. Homeless people. I witnessed quite a number of homeless people around these areas. I came across a heart-wrenching scene. A homeless man was praying on the streets. These are the people that have high risk in exposing themselves to the COVID-19. They don't have face masks on them and a proper hygiene practice. I wondered to myself, some people don't even have the privilege to stay at home and yet we are still complaining about boredom. Please, if the only issue you are facing is that you have nothing to do, try putting yourself in the shoes of those less fortunate. During the days of MCO, I do realize one thing, things are slowing down for all of us. I kind of feel peaceful when I'm out performing my duty. The air was fresh, the crowd is less in the most hectic place in KL. The skies are clear and there's less sound pollution. River of life is actually clear. There's no rubbish floating around. That made me think, mankind is actually the cause of the pollution. We destroy and build infrastructure for our own benefit. And now we'll talk about the earth that we are staying in. We are now entering the CMCO period. I hope everyone has taken their time to slow down and realize how we can save our earth and fight against this pandemic. This comes to the end of the video. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Stay safe everyone, take good care of our mother earth and wash your hands frequently. If you're heading out, wear a face mask and practice good hygiene. I am Zach, signing off now. Bye.